Hello everyone, this is Sonam Sandhu from PT Made Easy and this video is all about PT speaking templates. You know there are various tasks in PT speaking but one of the tasks is describe image and in that particular task you get only 25 seconds to prepare a talk and then you have to speak up for somewhere around 40 seconds. So try to understand in these 25 seconds you have to look at the graph or any image you need to understand it and then you need to figure out which are the important points or which all points you need to speak up so it is definitely a tricky question type because here in just 25 seconds doing everything is an arduous task so in this video i am giving you one trick which will help you in speaking up of any PT speaking describe image and that too in fraction of seconds. 25 seconds may easily you will be able to cover everything. Now let us look at this image. If you look at this image you will clearly get to know that it is a bar graph. But in describe image you not only get bar graphs but also pie chart, tabular chart, flow chart, process chart or any random image as well. So here in this video, I am going to focus on bar, pie, line and tabular chart. If you get any of these four questions, then you can simply use the template which I am going to share with you just now. Now templates are very important because in 25 seconds understanding the whole graph and then speaking it up for 40 seconds is difficult. In order to reduce the difficulty, we need the templates. So let's look at this. And now this is the English version of this video. I'll definitely shoot one Hindi version of the same video, which will help you all out there. So let us look at the graph first. Now here, if we are looking at the graph, we have simply gotten to know that it is a bar graph. Okay. And when it's a bar chart, we can simply see that they are talking about year 2002. They are talking about incidents and injuries per 100 million passenger miles traveled. Okay, PMT passenger miles traveled. Number of 100 million PMT passenger miles traveled. Now, we have gotten to know this incidents and injuries. Incidents has been marked in white color and injuries in black color. Now, here we have the numbers 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 number per 100 million pm okay now here they are saying there are five different public transportation things first one commuter rail second is heavy rail then light rail bus and demand response so what are they basically talking about here so here if we look at this one we have gotten to know that there are total commuter rail heavy rail light rail and bus they are talking about these four types so we need to simply look at this and understand what is there to speak up on so light rail and bus these two have the same figure okay then these two have heavy rail and light rail injuries in heavy rail and light rail were quite similar to each other or there was a minor difference of four in the injuries on heavy rail and light rail. This is something we have gotten to know. We will not do this the traditional way. We will look at the graph. We will look at the answer. We have the answer but we will be using the template. But before that just look at the answer in order to get to know how difficult this can be. The bar chart compares the number of incidents and injuries for every 100 million passenger miles traveled. On five different types of public transports in 2002, rail services experienced fewer problems. If we look at rail services, so they experience the least problems. We can say least, subse kam, least problems. Then the number of incidents, light rail trains equal the figure recorded for buses. There were significantly fewer injuries at only 39. So we have also gotten to know that there were significantly fewer injuries, 39. So bus and light rail, may, when we are talking about incidents, so the number of incidents on bus and light rail was totally the same. However, the number of injuries was different. It was 39 for light rail and it was 66 for bus. 
Now last is heavy rail. Okay, heavy rail service saw low number of such events than light rail services. Light rail lower number than light rail. Okay, but commuter rail passengers were even less likely to experience problems. Commuter rail passengers less likely to experience problems. So the chance of experiencing problems was the lowest here. Okay. In conclusion, the most incidents and injuries took place on demand response vehicles. Um, now they are talking about the last one, demand response vehicles. So this is also one type, demand response vehicles. Okay. So here we have gotten to know what they are explaining, but how can we speak up on this easily? 25 seconds, mein, how can we understand this? So we can simply say the given bar graph, the given bar graph gives the information about the number of air incidents and injuries that took place per 100 million passenger miles travel in the year 2002. Okay, so fill in the blank in the year 2002. The data given is in the form of or is calibrated in what? The data given is calibrated in numbers. Numbers may be number per 100 million PMT. Okay, so numbers. Then after having a glance, I can see the various trends are emerging. I can see the various trends are emerging that we can clearly see. It was at the peak. There was difference here. These two were identical. So various trends are emerging. Now the maximum value or amount is of is of me. Here we'll be using was of because everything is in the past. After having a glance, I can see the various trends were emerging everything will be in past because they are talking about the year 2002 that's why we are going to use the past tense okay the maximum value or amount is of dash whereas the minimum value is of this what is the maximum the maximum number of incidents took place on demand response vehicles which was two to five whereas the minimum was 20 on commuter rails Okay, so maximum, minimum, what all do we need to share? We need to simply share introduction, data calibrated, maximum and minimum, one more data, either similar, identical and at the end, simply conclude. Now, next, the maximum value I have already told, whereas the minimum value is of, that also has been told. We can notice that the dash is identical. What is identical? We can notice that the number of incidents on light rail and bus on light rail and bus was identical this is what they were saying simply they are saying was identical we can notice that the dash is or was identical there is a minor difference between um, now where we can see minor difference clearly there is a minor difference between Injuries occurred on heavy rail and light rail, where the former was 35 and latter was 39. Okay, got it? Last, I can see some more information regarding, what can I see? I can see some more information regarding various types of travelers or I can see some more information regarding heavy rail, light rail, Okay, we can talk about heavy rail, light rail or demand response. Finally, this pictorial representation is very informative. Simply, this pictorial representation or this bar graph or line graph is very informative. So, we simply need to use the template like such. If it's in the past tense, simply use was or were. If it's in the present tense, Replace it with is, am, are. Okay. Now, was, were, is, am, are. So, this is what you need to take care of. This template can, can definitely simplify the describe image thing. So, please go through the describe image part and start incorporating this template for any question related to bar, line, pie and tabular chart. And do let me know in the comment section if you want me to provide you with the templates of other question types related to random image, 
or process or flowchart just let me know in the comment section the more the number of comments the more the chances of publishing or shooting a video on the other topics so that's all for this video guys if you like it give it a thumbs up and share it with others thank you